So the first thing that you see when you click on the app is this uh, face, then you just add, click on the add project here. What I'm basically doing is looking for a video to choose so, can, so that I can use it to teach you guys. And um, I'm gonna pick on three, number one, then another one, number two, and then a third one, then here we go. This is the, this is where it takes you. So as you can see, these are all our videos, the videos that we picked one two three this last one is of a forest so first things first what you have to understand is that when you want to work on a specific video you have to like click on it when you click on it you'll get this whitish border around it so that we can now work on it um uh well so right here on your left there's an icon that we're gonna click so if you do not want the sound on your original video you just click on it and the whole clip is going to be muted but if you want the sound you just click back and the sound is back okay so down here at the bottom there are some several icons as you can see let's start with this one called split splitting is simply dividing that video that first video into maybe two maybe you want to work on them separately that's why we split let's come to the next one which is um speed uh speed you can just increase like for example normal videos have one but now you can increase to 2.0 3. you can increase let's increase to three and see what happens we have increased it to three as you can see the video motion is a bit faster than it was okay so let's take the speed back to one all right then you just click the tick down below so the speed is back to one so now we go to the volume right so the volume of the specific video you can increase you can decrease it you can put it at zero let me put it at zero all right so next we have animation we have delete if you want to delete that specific clip then we have remove background and all that wait where are we we want to remove background all right then we have all this we have edit so edit is another thing that i want to show you you can press rotate as you can see the video is rotating from different sections we have um we have mirror mirror simply changes the side like right to left as you can see and all that then you can also crop okay let's go back we want edit you can also change the filters adjust adjust is a lifesaver limited you guys it's a lifesaver you may have shot your video and the brightness is a bit low you can increase it as you can see the brightness is increasing and it's not destroying like the quality of the video or something so adjust is so nice there's contrast there's um saturation sharpen hsl there's the graphs there's the highlights shadows and all these things this app has literally everything and adjustment is the lifesaver you have the enhance if you want to enhance beauty, you have the mask and the chroma key. Overlay 2. It's simply putting one clip over another one. Like for example, this clip is the one that is showing, but it's the sound of the other clip that is being heard. Replace, you can replace a clip with another clip from the gallery. So here I have just um, clicked on voice effect. As you can see, there are all these low battery, chipmunk, robot electronic tremble and all that simply put it's just like maybe you're talking in a specific clip and you want maybe to add some funny effects like a chipmunk or something that's what you do so where were we where were we next is um copying right so copying is simply your selected clip you click copy and a replica of that will appear as you can see up here and then after coping was reverse then after reverse there is freeze let's say for example you want maybe to emphasize on a certain maybe facial expression or something you just freeze that clip so it will reappear but in a frozen state so you can see the trees are moving but here they ain't that's freezing so after dealing with the edit part we go to audio so let's click on that um this um audio <laughs> note over here so we have sound we have effects we have extracted we have record sound is simply you just um look for sounds online for example tiktok and all that but here i'll just look for a sound 
in my device in my files as you can see there's a list of my songs down here and then when you go to effects you have to be online to get those effects and then next is extracted extracted just means any of your videos on your gallery you just extract the sounds from it and recording over here you just do a voice over over your video right that's it After edit and audio, we have the text icon down here. You just click on it, then you have the four options. There are text, templates, auto captions, and the stickers. So the stickers are just some emojis that are available, the auto captions. So when we add the text, this is what happens. You have been told to enter the text there. You can choose a font. I have one that I really like, Times New Roman. You can choose a style. You have effects, bubbles, animations. So the style that I like is this one. And then let's go to the... Um, you can also remove the effect. You can change the color. It's really amazing. I love, love, love this app because it has a lot of options. Like all these styles. The fonts are like hundreds especially when you're online then these are the effects that are available if you love all this art the bubbles are simply things that hold your text in place yeah and then yeah you can choose from all these then you have the animation this is how the text is going to like present itself these um the first one, second one, the third one, they're really amazing as you can see. So let's do this practically. Let me write the name Trixie and see how the animation is going to be. So let me choose, um, I'm just going to choose one of these, but there's one that I really like. I'm looking for it. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's this one. So down here, I'm just increasing the pace at which that animation act <laughs> happens. And uh, voila, as you can see, the action that we've just done is appearing up there in um, orange. Is that orange? Next, we have the text template. And this is just wonderful because it has some awesome already made templates, right? Like most of us usually need templates like the like, the subscribe button, the share, and they're all here. There's a lot. There's the outro vlog, there's uh, subtitles, message, chapter, tag, and all these. So let me do this subscribe and reduce the size a bit and move it to the left hand corner and see how this happens. I think it will be very confusing if they both show at the same time. So I'll just adjust so that this subscribe comes right after the, the name, right? Let's see how that is going to look like. Yep, I love it. I love it. Lastly, at the right hand corner, we have the, um, the stickers. I think I had already shown you the stickers. They're just these beautiful emojis over here. You can choose any to add more, more <laughs> effects on your video. So after the stickers, we have the overlay right over here. And I think I showed you another type of overlay. This one is a different one. This one, you just overlay a picture or a video on top of your clip such that they are going to they are going to be seen at the same time right so let me choose this one over here it's a photo not a video and it's still okay so all you have to do is click on it and keep on adjusting it to where you want it to be for example you're talking about something and you just want that picture to pop up on your frame right you can use this overlay icon then you can just adjust the length, of, the length of time you want it to be there, right? So now we go to the effects. Uh, the effects, there are two. We have the video effects and the body effects. The body effects are just nice additions you can add to maybe a dance video or something. The video effects are what I like the most. They just provide some alteration to your video. Let's choose, for example, this one. Um, 
is one I really like. It's called the Camera Focus. Let's see what it does. As you can see, it's a nice effect and you can adjust the length of time that you want it to be on your video. And then let's choose another one right here. Let me go for the, um, ooh, what's this? Pleat screen, right? Yeah, it looks nice. Let's also add a split screen, click on the tick and there you have it. Let's see how it looks like. Yep, it's so cute. I love it. And these are our video effects. Let me tell you guys, there are a lot, a lot, a lot. Like these are just trending. There's basic, there's D3D, there's what, there's details, retro and all that. And it's so amazing, guys. Where were we? Next, we go to the format. Format is simply how you like the frame of your video to be. There's the YouTube format, there's the TikTok format. If you can understand these numbers, the YouTube is 16, 9, like this one over here. This one is for TikTok. As you can see, the format has changed and this is how your video is going to look like. This one is the YouTube one. So you can just adjust to your liking. If you want to do TikTok, do this one. If you want to do YouTube, do the 16.9. So next we have the canvas and that's if you want a background. And after the canvas, we have the, um, the adjust again. So this is simply how my video looks from the beginning to the end. As you can see the templates that we had put in place. And then after that, you can see the overlay that we also put in place. The, here are the video effects, which are just so amazing. So let's go back a little bit. I just want to show you how I add the sound to my video. I've just clicked on the sound collection that was down there and then it brings you these four. Let me choose the, um, the extracted. No, no, no. The sound because I want to choose one of the songs in my, in my files. So I'm just going to type the song that I want, you know, the copyright free music. I downloaded them. So when you click on that, it, it gets added. As you can see, it is this long. It's almost like three minutes and my video is, um, just a few seconds so you just i want to click on that music and then split it as you can see it's already splitted so we take this last last part and delete it so now we are left with the music that we need the music that will fit the video so you can adjust its volume i want it to be as low as um let's say 30 put a tick and then there's this uh, icon called fade. Fade is just like fade in, fade out. Like when the song starts, it starts in a, as it increases, you get me, right? So fade in, fade out. Next. Yeah, that's all I want to do for that song. And the song is already there. And that's it. At this point, I think I've showed you everything. I've showed you the overlay, how to put the text, how to add the audio, rotation, and everything, the video effects, the sound every the sound effects. I think I've showed you everything. <laughs> everything. So now after you're done, you can just preview your video. Then click on this button up here. It's gonna export it. Exporting is simply transferring your video to your phone gallery so that you can upload it to YouTube or TikTok or wherever. So it's uploading right now. Done. So just press the done up there and it will go to your gallery. So as you can see here, this is our video. So in future, I had forgotten something. Let me, before I show you how the video turned out, let me show you about the transitions. So to reach where I am right now, you just click on the small white square between two clips, right? That's the transition section. So as you can see, we have a lot to choose from, a lot of options. There's the camera, there's the effect, there's the social media and all these. So for this particular, the first transition, as you can see, I chose one from the camera. Let's go to the next. Let me choose the other one from the camera again. Let me choose the pull in and put a tick. As you can see, they are placing themselves in between the videos. We are on the third one right now. I'm going to choose another transition. Click on the tick and let's go to the next one. As you can see, the white squares. 
Yep, and we are done with the transitions. So now I'm just going to show you how... Okay, let's put the last one. <laughs> I just want to add you guys that all these things are very, very important to make your YouTube video or whatever video very interesting. These transitions and the edits and the sound effects and the voice effects and the video effects, believe me, they make a huge difference. So I'll just show you how my small video turned out and yeah.